before I die in a scary, creepy forest, I gotta give you the final cutoff of the week. <laughs> Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, this is another episode of The Final Cutoff. That's right, guys. This is the video series where each and every week I show you guys some key and important books that are coming out. And you are going to want to go to your shop and make sure you get there before that cutoff day date so you're not left behind wondering why didn't I get these key issues or why didn't I get that big book this particular week so welcome back everybody and fans hopefully you liked the little introduction that I had that was my tribute to Halloween hopefully you guys had a wonderful Halloween so at any time fans if you like this video or you want to show that extra support towards the channel just go onto my home screen hit that join button right there and again it takes the channel a long way so thank you everyone for your support of the channel so let's get started everyone with this week's final cutoff okay now this cutoff date is for 11 25 and for 12 2 i think the following week is going to be a little bit light now where do i get all this information from well i get it from my comic shop comic central they send me these notes this newsletter each and every week so i know which books are coming out so the first books that we're going to be talking about is Batman and Catwoman, this is issue one. Now, if you're a fan of Tom King's run of Batman, right, you're going to want to jump on board with this because not only do we get Tom King writing it, right, but you also get Clay Man drawing it. So again, if you love that run from Tom King, and I know it's been a controversial run, uh, you know, you're going to want this you're going to want this book, right? If you like that relationship with Catwoman and Batman, again, you're going to want this book. So I think this is a high demand book. I think people are going to check it out. And again, guys, go ahead and put that order in just in time so you don't miss it. Also, with my comic shop, we have this Jim Partil, Partel uh, team exclusive variant. Comic Central is happy to announce that Batman and Catwoman issue one is a team up variant. So this is the way it looks here. Uh, so if you are in the Central Florida area, you're going to want to make sure you get in contact with them and you can get this special variant. It is being released actually on December 1st. All right, so let's move on to the next book. The next one that is coming out is Death Metal, The Multiverse Who Laughs. So I think this is kind of like an anthology type of book or whatnot. Let me see. It says the DC Multiverse is a collection of alternate reality worlds. So yeah, it's kind of like a multiverse anthology book. If you've been collecting every, everything that's Batman Who Laughs or if you've been collecting uh, Death Metal, everything that's been tied to it this is a book that you're going to want to pick up okay so again it looks pretty cool me personally i'm not a huge huge fan of death metal where i need to pick up every single tie-in book but if you guys want to order it go ahead and let your shop know all right, the next one we're going to be talking about is Tales from the Dark Multiverse. This time, it's Wonder Woman, War of the Gods. So if you love these alternate stories or these multiverse stories, which, you know, for the most part, DC does a great job at doing, you're going to want to pick up this version of War of the Gods, right? Now, for me personally, I was in a huge fan of that first set of the Dark Multiverse books. So personally, I won't be picking this one up or putting an order in for it but again there's something there for everybody so go ahead and let your comic book shop know that you want this book all right guys so if you're looking for a variant cover that's really nice and it seems like these wonder woman variants have been really nice by uh middleton you're going to want to pre-order uh wonder woman issue 767 this is a beautiful cover with wonder woman front and center on the cover it looks like maybe she's on the mountains of Themyscira. she has the lasso of truth with her and maybe she's about to lasso somebody i don't know but he's done a great job with these books and if you love variant covers and you want to collect wonder woman just for this variant go pick up this middleton cover 
All right, next, here's an interesting book. We're going to get Red Hood issue 51. That's right, guys. It's no more Red Hood and the Outlaws. It's no more Red Hood, the Outlaw. It is just Red Hood, and it's kicking it off with issue 51. And it says, Jason's back in Gotham with a few days to kill. What does that mean? What's next for Jason Todd? You know, is he totally messed up? Is he going to team up with Batman? Like, what is happening with him at this point in time? So if you guys are interested in this and you're looking for a new uh, direction with Jason Todd, this is it. Again, new creative team, perfect jumping on point. All right, next, we have another nice variant cover, and this is Suicide Squad issue 11. This is the final issue to this particular series. Tom Taylor has done such a great job with it. I wish he was on it longer. I feel like it's just being wrapped up because DC said it's time to wrap it up. So if you want to collect that normal cover, uh, go ahead but this variant cover is absolutely awesome with harley on there obviously long pigtails hammer in the back explosions in the background as well really nice looking cover that red and black really pops kind of a creepy looking smile as well so if you guys are interested in this one go ahead and let your shop know now before it's too late all right, so speaking of um, talking about independent comics now, we're talking about a new one here. It's called I Walk With Monsters, issue one. This is done by Vault Comics, and it's about a person named JC, and it looks like she it's her and her brother, and, uh, and it looks like they somehow transform into monsters like i don't know really the huge premise of this particular book but this could be something that's interesting for you if you like uh independent books books especially vault comics as they've been putting out some pretty good stories these days this is something that you might want to check out this is written by paul cornell uh who has done wolverine doctor who and elementary so check it out guys see what it's about independence you want to support them there it is all right, the next one we're going to talk about is four exclusive comic book covers that will be available on November 25th, which is also local comic book shop day. So the first one we have here is Ice Cream Man. This is issue 20. Um, this is another one of those Dr. Seuss variants, which I think they've been hitting it out of the park with these. And then we have Monstrous. Um, talk stories where this is their local comic book day shop book and then we also have spawn issue i think 312 um so that's kind of as cool as i guess it looks like like all the people that were involved with spawn uh we've seen this before in other covers especially from marvel comics and then we also have an invincible issue one with which is the local comic book shop day um cover which is just like issue number one so nothing really different i think they're kind of providing this out there to get readers familiar with Invincible before the animated series comes out. All right, so next, uh, if you're a huge fan of Department of Truth, it seems like there's a, a decent demand for this book now that people read the first two issues of it. We have our main cover of Department of Truth, and then we have our variant cup cover with the lady that wears red. So that's pretty cool. Make sure you put your order in there. And then next, we have, I'm pretty sure this book was supposed to come out before COVID happened. It never came out because I remember I did a cover of the week of the particular cover all the way on the left here. It's I Make Boys Cry issue one. There's three covers of this. There's a $5 cover, which is really cool looking cover. Then there's the $10 cover, which is in the middle. And then we have the $20 variant cover, which all of them actually look really nice. So if you're in it for a cover, go ahead, buy one. If you want to see what this story is about, well, go ahead and check that out too, right? All right, so here's a really popular book that's getting ready to come out. This is obviously the event that everybody's been waiting for. This is King in Black. This is issue one. We have the main cover. 
we have the tattoo cover, which is really kind of cool. And like, if you're a fan of Venom and you're hardcore, like you might want to get this tattoo. And then you got the Peach Momoko uh, variant cover as well. So you have those three to choose from when it comes to King and Black. Then we also have the Marvel Null variants. So we also have Miles Morales, Spider-Man, uh, issue 21, the Null variant, which is a sick cover. Like that is intense where it's like you have a Miles Morales, Spider-Man. He's got the symbol of Null and he's got the sword, but he's got like these spikes on his shoulders. Dude, that is absolutely intense. And then we got this Black Widow issue four Null cover as well, which is another nice looking cover. So these two are really really great so if you want to pick these up guys let your shop know put your order in now before it's too late all right and then last but not least we're coming to the x of swords titles and we have here our x of swords destruction issue one so we have the main cover and then again, if you're into Peach Momoko, we have the X of Swords Destruction Issue 1 variant cover, again, done by Peach Momoko. And then last but not least, guys, we have um, the local comic book shop day X of Swords Destruction Issue 1 Hincharian variant, which has magic on it, which it looks really intense. Like magic is in battle with her sword. Looks like she's going to slice someone's head off or something. Totally intense. Love the cover. So go ahead and put this order in. And then you have the X-Men issue 15, another Peach Momoko variant. So it looks like Peach Momoko is doing a lot of stuff when it comes to X-Men. So if you're a fan of her artwork, you got to put that, that order in before the cutoff. So guys, there you have it. There are some of the key and hot books you should be looking for and putting that order in before it's too late. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And if you like more of my content right here, go ahead and click on it. So again, guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.